432 on your dial. This is the Carl Saint Experience. <laughs> oh man, this is funny. I'm <laughs> yeah, just gonna what wait. Are, what are you talking about? No, nah, it it uh it sounds and always seems a lot easier than it is when you're like I'm like oh, I could do a radio show like you know. Oh, this is satellite radio, so we're fucking cursing all day long. Yeah, it's always about you, isn't it? So? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Four thirty-two on your dial. On your dial. That sounds like that old radio. The old, stick. old radio shtick. Four, four, thirty two on your dial. You want um, to tro- avoid saying uh, remember. Ah, yes. That's right. No Space uhs. out your words if you want. Space really? out Space your thoughts. Out. Don't say uh or um. No <laughs> ums. Morning, everybody. Four thirty-two on your dial. This is the Crossing Experience. I'm Carl Saint, and to my right is... Vinny Tafuri. That's your cue every time I... Yeah. Vinny <laughs> Tafuri. I'm getting cues. I got cues. I think he's cueing us because he doesn't know our names. <laughs> I know Vinny. I didn't want to say your last name. That's right. Vinny, Vinny. Tafuri. Vinny T. Vinny T. Vinny T. Vinny T. <laughs> Vinny T will work. That'll work. And to my left is... Mike D. Mike D. Mike D. <laughs> See, I can remember that. There you yeah, go. Mike D. D. That's good. <laughs> Man, what are we talking about today? Um, I have no idea, host. You tell us. I have no idea what happened. As a host, it's my job to keep the show moving and to be in control all the time. I can talk about the Green Day poster that's in the room. That's about it. Really? Or Blue Collar TV, which is on the TV. Let's not talk about Blue Collar TV. (laughs) I would avoid that subject, too. Paris Hilton, she's uh, apparently found God in jail. Um, (laughs) Barbara Walters. Here's what I don't understand. How come, like, who... (sighs) It's like when you go to prison, there's only like a certain list of people that can come visit you. But like Paris Hilton's been in jail for five days, and now Barbara Walters gets to do a, you know. Yeah, uh, I got her on the phone. Her mom was talking to her, uh, to Barbara Walters, and then they, uh, they got in touch with Paris. Made a three-way call, and she gets uh, ad time on TV for being in jail. Today, her parents are going to see her. I saw that on the news. They're going to see her for the first time. I think it's all uh, about that. You know, all celebrities get special treatment. I saw that she's costing us taxpayers eleven hundred dollars a day. I just read a headline. I think her dad should just pay that. Yes, I think so. Or give free rooms to (laughs) to people. (laughs) But I mean, she got out of jail because the sheriff felt bad for her. He talked at the trial in front of the judge. I think about her being in jail and having that psychotic whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, that's just ridiculous. You know, if you're in jail, you're in jail. Yeah, she's got. They said that she's got that serious ADD. I mean. So what? You know, you do the time, who's... you do the time. I mean, <laughs> obviously something's wrong with you if you're, you're doing that kind of stuff anyway. Anyone who's seen her sex tape knows she has serious ADD. Yeah, well, she's got serious ADD. Well, it's like they were giving her sympathy because uh, she went to jail and became sad and depressed. It's like, um, yeah, yeah. that's, that, that, that's kind of what happens when you <laughs> yeah. uh, break the law and go to jail. Yeah, I, mean, I think, yeah I think if you speak, talk to most prisoners in jail, they're not very jolly. <laughs> <laughs> when, you become someone else, when, you, when you become someone else's bitch, that, uh, <laughs> that's about all, as low as you can go, I think. I don't know. <laughs> and pretty, I don't know. I just have a feeling if her name was Shamiqua Johnson from Compton, there wouldn't, you know, yeah. no one be worrying about her mental health exactly. state. And uh, she forgot her medication. Yeah, I was like, mm. yeah, I didn't know Coke was a, <laughs> <laughs> a medication for prisoners. Not only would they throw away the key, but we'd never even hear about Shaniqua. It would be just, you know, it would never even hit the press. Oh, man. Uh, but Hilton, you own a hotel, and uh, all of a sudden you got the uh, Haven't I heard of the press. Jackson Hotels, though? Shaniqua Jackson? Is she of that family? <laughs> I think no. so. Uh, I, is, I don't know. I think. Uh, That's a motel chain in Mississippi. Right. <laughs> Audience, that was that is what's known as a joke. There okay. is no Jackson Hotel chain that I know of. Okay, <laughs> that you, you know of. You yes, got true. forty million Jacksons calling up asking <laughs> where, where they at. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm the heiress to that chain. Give me some money. That's right. <laughs> Be careful now. Turn to the Don Imus show. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's Don Imus. Yeah. I never said nappy headed hose. Never, <laughs> not once. Now I did, but that's okay. <laughs> How it was like, just in reference, though. <laughs> yes. We can replay that. We're taping. I apologize to my listening audience. And you know what? You're right. This computer won't let you do like anything right now. Oh, it looks like we have a special guest. Uh, she, does, she wants uh, us to keep it down. Lola's next wants studio. to keep it down. Hello, you know what happened? No. What happened? I wanted to squeeze the Paul Carter assignment between my name and the thing. Right. Uh huh. That sucks. That is so absolutely that's why horrible. So I could hear you guys from the background. I could either. There was, I don't think he'll be upset. There's a motorcycle. I don't want to do it again. You can't undo it. Yeah. Did you do it again? Or you, you need to. Do it again. But you need us to be quiet now? The what? 
You need us to be quiet now, or you need us to be quiet before? No, 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 no. If you don't mind, just lower it just a little. No, no, no. You not can as, raise our level. Not as boisterous. Just don't, just don't, raise, don't laugh like out loud. You know? It's okay. Did just you want to introduce on the yourself? <laughs> laugh on the inside. Did you want to introduce yourself on our radio show? No. Yeah, we're actually. This is the Carl Saint, Saint experience? The Carl Saint. Lola? Lola? No? no. Lola. Lola's our neighbor to the south of us. Is that south? Yeah, that's, that's south. No, that's west. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's Lola to the south of us. Okay. All right, Lola. Just flick us off when you want us to be quiet. <laughs> that was Lola, ladies and gentlemen. Interrupting my uh, awesome show. Don't appreciate it. Were you guys talking about Lola before? Because I wasn't really listening. Absolutely not. <laughs> no, I'll deny anything. <laughs> if human resources ask, no, we were not. I was not talking about Lola. Lola who? That's hilarious. Uh, she's a good Say girl. what else we got. Because I can't see a computer screen. Uh, and neither can I. This, <laughs> this uh, content blocker is like blocking everything. Isn't that awesome? We can't run a multi-mic show and have no content from the computer. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Well, now that every like radio show is like, uh, I'm pulling it up right now. I know, I know. Uh, TV doesn't work. Whatever else around here doesn't work. We're not oh. going to get to Adobe too. Well, we never touched on this. <laughs> never touched on the Sopranos on air. Sopranos. Ooh, Sopranos. Sopranos. Excellent topic. Very good. What do you think? Never touched. Well, well, you know, everybody's wondering about you know the blackout thing. You know what happened? You know how many people thought their cable went out when <laughs> the credits started coming on? But um, if you remember the time that. Um, Tony and Bobby were talking, and they were talking about, you know, what happens when, you know, when it's your time, you know, when your time's up, you're going to get whacked. You know, you, you don't know what's going to happen, and everything just fades to black. So I, I, I somewhat agree with that theory. You know, maybe that's what happened. But, I, I, you know, they're just leaving it up to your imagination, which is I think is great. I'll play devil's advocate here. I can see how a lot of people would say, you know, when I buy a book or when, you know, I'm reading a book, I, you know, I want an ending. I don't uh, read through, you know, however many chapters or whatever just to get to the end and like, here you go. You've, you know, just stop in the middle of a paragraph and leave four blank pages like you figure it out, you know. So I can see how some people might say, well, you know, it wasn't. I pre I, I liked it. It was different. It keeps you, you know, interested, uh, you know, compared to like the ending of Seinfeld or I don't watch any other. I, don't, you know, I never watch Friends or any yeah, other well, <laughs> shit shows. But uh, the ending of Seinfeld to me was pretty yeah, bad. Yeah, Seinfeld. You know? th that that was probably the worst Seinfeld episode I ever saw. Was the you know the grand finale. They just tried to cram too much into that. Seinfeld yeah, it's episode. just you know it was just too much. But back to the Sopranos. That's David Chase's creative license to do whatever he wants. It's his baby. You know he's been working for years on crap network shows. I've never watched the Rockford Files or anything like that, but I know he did that. So uh, wow. You know it's it's what he it's what he. Uh, it's what he wanted to do with the show, you know. So no, I think it was a good ending. At first, I was disappointed with the show as opposed to the Blue Comet, the episode right before it, which was awesome. I mean, watching Bobby get killed and Silvio get shot. I mean, it was just mm. great. But uh, this the last one, it's growing on me. I think if I watch it again, I have to say the chick that was uh, playing AJ's girlfriend is hot. Yeah, needless, yeah. I don't care if she's playing a high school junior. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We we all know she's not in real life, so that's what we're grasping onto. <laughs> So yeah, yeah. But, yeah, I agree with that. What what you're saying about that, you know, it's it's his baby he can do what he wants with it. And you know, if he had any foresight, which he may very well had, you know, everybody's talking about it. So, yeah. you know, he did something right with it. Yes, correct. Around the room, final rating, Vinny. Final rating for the Soprano Girl uh, last show. Scale of one rough. to ten or A through F. A through F. I give it a I give it a B plus. B plus. Yeah. Mike, I'm um, I'm gonna go with A minus. I enjoyed it. A minus. Uh. After giving it time and thought, I think I'd have to go with A minus, maybe B plus. Yeah. B plus because I wish there was a little more resolution to some things, mm -hmm. but the ending, the very end, didn't bother me at all. I thought, like you said, he took his license and, you know, at least he got people talking about it. I'd rather do that than, you know, everyone just saying, oh, Tony got shot or, you know, joined witness protection or any of that crazy stuff. So. Yeah. You can't expect resolution from the guy who let the Russian escape from Pine Barrens. People still talk to it till the <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. To this day. Right. <laughs> Right. <laughs> you. But you did get resolution that it seems like Tony's going to jail in some sort, even though it didn't say that for sure. He's the, his lawyer seemed to yeah. pretty much say he's getting going to get indicted on those wiretapping or not the wiretapping the gun charges. The gun charges. Yeah, yeah. the gun charge from Johnny Sack's house. It's Somehow he's going to get. But I think if Carlo, I mean, I'm, I know we're supposed to get off the topic, but if if oh, Carlo no, no. if Carlo got indicted or not indicted, if he's helping out the uh, feds, if he ratted, if he's a rat now. I think they're going to get a lot more. I mean, this is just, of course, 
thinking out my ass. But uh, right, Carlo uh, being one of the main captains. I guess there was a lot of confusion. A lot of people didn't realize who Carlo was. Exactly. Like, you know, they got con- but uh, he's been uh, like he's been around. He's if been you, around, yeah. But. If you paid attention to the show and like uh, this is like the first time one of the major capos who's basically flipped and basically knows everything is you know is gonna be a rat. Every other rat they've they've seemed to either kill or the one guy committed suicide at the beginning of last season. The guy that wanted to go to Florida. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So, well, you know they did get big pussy, but they didn't get much from him. Right. So. But the, the feds had him. They had him wrapped around their fingers. Yeah. <laughs> Don't watch out for big pussy. It's <laughs> trouble. <laughs> <laughs> we are not speaking about Sopranos anymore. Or <laughs> a little bit of double entendre. That, 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 that's my that's my wrap up for the Sopranos. <laughs> uh, uh, everything on the news: is, uh, Bush, GOP, immigration. I don't. Uh, is it just me? I don't know. I like to take like a pose with normal average people, but immigration bill I could pretty much care less about. I know certain people, you know, maybe even certain students that we go to school with here, Scott. Yeah. But you know, <laughs> you know, they may douchebag Roberts. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that might be the. Uh, yeah, I, I could really almost care less. You know, TV uh, guy on the plane. Yeah, a lot like I, a lot of people pick their issues and they become very passionate about one thing. You know, but uh, as far as immigration is concerned, I, I'm, it's not one of the biggest things on my agenda as far as politics is concerned. I just say health care is one of my yeah, biggest health care would be ultimate top top of the list uh, <laughs> I, I above anything. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I've heard about Han- Canada's thing and how they have more taxes and everything, but they have the, uh, what is it called, is it socialist? Where, or what do they call it where everyone can go get free health care? Is that what it's called? I'm, I'm Confused here. Because it's universal, universal health care. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's just like, that's awesome. And I'd probably be willing to pay more taxes as long as, you know, it didn't cost more in the long run. But, I mean, health insurance companies are killing us nowadays. And mm-hmm. that's my biggest thing. I mean, if the country's not doing I mean, there's homelessness. I mean, you can pick your topic. But immigration is not such a big deal unless they're coming into the country not working at any job and just... Mm-hmm. Eating away at our at our money that we put in the taxes, they're not putting anything. Well, That's, th- that would be a pet peeve. Of mine. Well, I think there are plenty of problems with immigration. Oh yeah, but I don't think they sh- overshadow some of the other issues. Health right. healthcare is huge. Education is huge. You know, we, we need to start worrying about the, the the children too. You know, what kind of education they're getting, and you know, healthcare, of course. I mean, France has France has the healthcare. I mean, they have the universal health care, take okay. care of the people. You know, and it's, you know, if a country like France who, you know, for some reason we hate and they hate us for some reason, you know, they got a great system over there. Well, I'd say, I don't know, the French don't, I guess the French think we're pretty arrogant, which it goes back and forth. But on the same note, you know, the French, they listen to our music, watch our movies. See our television where, you know, name the last French film or French book you ever picked up, you know. Yeah. And I guess the main the main jab proponents or opponents of the healthcare system have is that they're afraid that healthcare end up being like the DMV. It's gonna be like everyone walking in the line, you're not gonna get quality service. Yeah. But, you know, at the very least, I I'd say for people under the age of eighteen in this country, you know, health care and health benefits should be provided to, you know, anyone who's still in or in high school or you know below pretty much 18 or younger people you know kids who can't legally be adults and um i don't know i think uh we do spend a lot of time like i said i could really care less i see immigrants all the time always staying in front of home depot yeah. 7 30 yeah. o'clock in the morning and you know they're looking to you know jump in the truck and you know work i mean if you were here legally and you commit a job well you know they then you're in double trouble i guess but mm-hmm. for the most part most of those guys i, I really couldn't care and they're saying that you know taking jobs away from me I don't know anybody, you know, <laughs> who's in school want to be a tomato picker or yeah, I don't yeah. shovel dirt for 10 hours a day for six bucks an hour, you know? I'm currently unemployed, and I'm not willing to take any of those jobs. So <laughs> right. More power to you, immigrants. You know? Well, I'll tell you what. If there's any immigrant out there that wants my job, I'd be more than happy to relinquish it. Oh, uh, me too. That would be what? Sherman so. Williams page? I forget. <laughs> what Benjamin Moore. Benjamin Moore. Com. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, well. So anyway, tits.com. What, what, what tits.com. What are we doing over there saying? That's the wrong it's, site. It's in the uh, it's in the history bar. I don't know. You should go to some some sites. Go to fark.com if we need some topics. You go to fark.com. Fark? Fark. F A R K.com. It basically has headlines. You'll see if it can pull up. 
of the funny things, real news stories, and it's got different things. They actually have a different ta- tags like uh, news. Uh, they used to have a boobies tag for naked chick sites or whatever for links, but they have a f- tag that's Florida. And any, anything that's so dumb that it can only take place in Florida, they have a Florida tag. It's a pretty funny site. I doubt you'll be able to access it over there because that computer is all limited and stuff. Are you being sponsored by Fark.com? Because you're giving like a huge plug here. Like I man, love this site. I haven't plug. used it in I haven't used it in a long time because there's so much information there. It's only like I think one guy that runs the site, but he spends so much time. They have so many headlines. And I, but that's where um, F R A K F A R K. F-A-R-K.com. That's where um, Dano from Nights on Real Radio and ZZR, uh, he gets all his headlines oh, from really there. Right. I mean, you, I can just tell. If I've looked at the site for the day, then I listen you to You know him. exactly what he's yeah. saying. Right? <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. That's a good site to get news from, though. But. And um, I will let you know. Wait a minute. <laughs> how, are we, uh, how are we on the drought now? I mean, we've been getting some rain, but I don't know if it's been enough to... I'm in Indian River County. So, I don't care about you people. Yeah, you don't care about us at all. You're, <laughs> you're in the safe zone. <laughs> safe for now, it's, anyway. Yeah. My lawn's still pretty brown. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I don't know. I haven't heard any updates on uh, as far as restrictions are concerned or anything like that. I know the lake's still low, but I don't know how low that is. I went to Volvo today. This is just a stupid note, but oh, okay. <laughs> I went to the Volvo dealership today to get my parents' car serviced, and uh, they had a water sh- restriction sign saying that oh, they, only, they only wash new cars to make them look pretty, and they didn't say to make them look oh, pretty naturally. good. <laughs> but but uh, they won't wash your car and, unless it's an extreme circumstance, which I don't know what an extreme circumstance what would be. What would an extreme that. circumstance? Exactly. <laughs> it didn't say extreme circumstance, but it basically said that. It's like it basically a, implied that. It's like a giant pile of shit. <laughs> <laughs> like you go up to the Volvo dealership and a bird shits on your car, <laughs> and then <laughs> Eyes on uh, it. Yeah, you need your car washed, <laughs> sir. Yeah. yeah, I don't know about that, but yeah, you guys, you guys are having problems down here with that lake. Yeah, you might want to uh, think about uh, other sources of water. I don't know. Yeah, well, desalinization would be nice. But that would that's, be awesome. That's another show. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's an entire. I don't know show. enough about that, but no, I think n- that's no a way. Next off. week, uh, world hunger. That's right. that's right. We cover all the issues here. We're solving us. problems on the Carlson experience. <laughs> that's right. That, uh, <laughs> I think not, we may not be solving them, but we're letting you know what they are. <laughs> okay, so we have desalination, world hunger, homelessness. What else we got? Yeah, we got problems, folks. <laughs> Just letting you know. Paris Hilton, tight or loose? No. Yeah. Um, who's loose and who's yeah. tight? <laughs> Paris Hilton. Uh, <laughs> Where's Danny when you need him? That, for our listening audience, was a reenactment of Jungle Fever, an interview that was done here in these studios. That you can find on YouTube if it ever downloads. <laughs> yes. Right. If it ever uploads correctly and gets fixed, uh, it's on my site, www.youtube.com slash Mr. Hardaway. That's M-R-H-A-R-D-A-W-A-Y. More shameless plugs? Yes. I'm a shameless plugger. <laughs> my what can I say? Plugger. <laughs> More double entendre right there. Oh. <laughs> I plug away. Yeah. I only plug females. Yeah. Our male listening audience, I'm sorry. <laughs> so now what we got? Nothing. I'm absolutely. So tomorrow's a big day, the big interview, the big the big uh-huh. deal, the big show. Well, that's actually that's a good topic. How do you feel about it? What are you, nervous? Um, no, I'm not really nervous about it. I mean, just. Just go in and do it and get it over with, you know. I'm kind of nervous because my partner is all nervous. So Who's your partner? Know. Fadia. She, uh, she worries a lot about stuff, which I don't blame her for, but uh, I have to make sure I get my hook down. That's the only thing I'm yeah. worried about. The hook is the biggest thing for me. I mean, the rest is, you know, just questions and, you know, regular conversation, you know. So yeah. the, is our listening audience knowing what we're talking about right now? Is this for like a CSB student listening audience or is this something else? Who sure. Else asking? So would they know what this interview is that we're speaking of? <laughs> Who else is going to well, listen to this the, shit? Yeah, <laughs> no, nobody going to listen to this crap. <laughs> oh, we'll get people to listen this to this. This isn't going anywhere. Oh, no, this will be our demo tape. We'll go get jobs right after this, right? As soon as we finish this. <laughs> Some what shitty are, internet radio show. <laughs> as long as Saint has all our levels up and we've been talking the whole time, we're good yeah. to go. Actually, I think we've been like in a red for like the past like five yeah. months. Damn it. Yeah, I think we can uh, maybe do something on AM. (laughs) AM's a start. (laughs) AM, and there's always an opening in Christian radio. I know that for Uh, a fact. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) We'll be real big over there. Yeah. As I say, uh, I was Catholic until I reached the age of reason. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, The age of reason. (laughs) My mom doesn't appreciate that, but that's okay. Yeah. And I stole that from George Carlin. So, George, don't sue me. Right. George, yeah. 
Yeah, I've heard that bit that he does yeah. about uh, Catholicism or religion in general, really. Yes. He worships the sun now. He's a sun worshiper. I, I can actually see the sun. It's something <laughs> tangible. <laughs> it's awesome. So, yeah. Yeah. Our host is playing with his microphone. Oh, yeah. Completely ignoring the show. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> Letting the show go wild. The Carl yeah. Saint experience has turned into the Carl Saint list experience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'll just let two guys go back and forth and just sit here. Wow, well, you watch some interesting stuff because I've never watched that really. I don't watch two guys go back and forth. Or am I talking about gay porn again? <laughs> people come again? <laughs> again? 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 I didn't reveal anything yeah. there. <laughs> anything you want to share, Mike? Not at all. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Kobe reclaims top. I'm just going to, whatever I can pull up on the computer because it won't let me go to half uh, FARC or FUCK or dot com. Won't FARC. Let me Fark won't let me pull up. Uh, uh, not we're, sports we're getting, talk. We're getting, sports talk. we're getting the level. Uh-oh. Put the level down again. Lola's giving us the email. Lola's, line. yeah. Lola's, uh, Saint will have to boost working on her, on board we'll her Bob Carter board. assignment. Yes. Because we all know that's very, very important. What, what was that whispering thing you played us yesterday, Saint? What, Bing Bang, Bing Bong Brothers? Oh, the Bing Bong, no, the Bing Bong Brothers. <laughs> I can see if I can pull that up. Probably not. <laughs> mm-hmm. But uh, Kobe Bryant reclaims NBA top sale spot from Dwayne Wade. That's interesting to know. Wow. Yeah, mm. it is because I thought Kobe was kind of old not, news. Not enough yeah. jerseys flying off the shelf. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, I know he's still a good player, but, uh, you know, you figure he, uh, yeah, he's still Dwayne a good Wade's player. a little. Yeah, but, I mean, Wade's a little more topical. I mean, yeah, his I mean, team he's... won the finals last year. So... <laughs> I mean, I don't know much about sports, but I can speak a little bit. No, <laughs> like those ESPN commercials, the guys speaking sports out of their ass and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. That's a good bet. That's Steve cool Nash sure doesn't know how to block shots. <laughs> 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 I think it was probably some of the funniest uh, that's good. since this was sports in a commercial. That's ESPN's good marketing right yeah. there, man. It really is. Whoever came up with that one. Am I the only man that does not watch Sports Center? I don't, watch, I don't watch it a lot. I mean, yeah. you know. <laughs> Once in a while, yeah, I can't. I, I don't know. The only sport I'm into is football. I can't. You know, I, I, I live. In, I live in a house with a, two, uh, you know, an ex-wife, a 12-year-old daughter, and a two and a half-year-old boy. So my TV viewing is limited to <laughs> the Einstein, little Einsteins, uh, some crap on Nickelodeon, and then the first 48 hours. That's right. it. <laughs> you want to know some other little Einsteins? I'll tell you. All right. <laughs> I really want to know nothing about that. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't care. Neither my, did my, I, my but daughter, it kind of pulls you in. <laughs> my daughter is almost four months old. I'm hoping never to learn anything. Transformers, Fraggle Rock, G.I. Joe, the old school good stuff. Old Maybe school good stuff. Fraggle Rock? Yeah. Fraggle, Fraggle Rock, Rock rules, man. Yeah. Fraggle Rock does rule. It was pretty good. <laughs> it's got the, uh, what do they call it, the dozers? Is that what they are? Those little guys, the little green guys? I forget what they're called. I don't know. I'm right. not a Fraggle Rock connoisseur. I, no. I mean, I know of the show. I feel like I'm being assaulted here. Oh, no. I'm, I'm, I'm very I know of the show, and I'm a big uh, Dave Henson fan. So, you know, is that his name? Dave Henson? <laughs> uh, obviously, you're What's such a name? huge fan. Jim it's Jim Henson. Henson. No, him, too. His, his brother, Jim. <laughs> His brother Dave has Yeah, his brother Dave did hand puppets over at uh, some... He did the shitty stuff like Fraggle Rock. Oh, ouch. That's not... That's harsh. That's harsh, guys. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. I forgot what I was going to say. I had a topic. You guys talk amongst yourselves. I have to think. It takes me five minutes. I'll be back. Talk amongst ourselves, so... Uh, Anyway. Anyone verklempt? (laughs) The old uh, coffee talk with Linda Richmond from Saturday Night Live? Yeah, I remember that. (laughs) Mike Myers. <laughs> Mike Myers is good. Now he's living off Shrek now. Yeah. Yeah, now I'm ready for Shrek 4 or 5 or yeah. 6. They'll just keep. They're, put, they're already playing 4. I forget what. Uh, he's doing something else that's coming out the pipeline. It looks kind I mean, of it, I mean, it's good. I mean, I like the movies. I didn't I, see Shrek 3. So I haven't I seen know. the third one yet. Third one's, it's good. I saw it. It is? Yeah. I've heard it's pretty my, good. One of my friends said it was horrible, and I like Shrek. I don't know about horrible, <laughs> but, you know, it wasn't. I mean, number one is number one. Number oh, yeah. one is the best one. Definitely. You know, it always is in most sequel, you know, movies. Yeah. But it was it was good, you know. It's got uh, adult overtones. I mean, you, you throw that in there, and anybody can watch the movie. I mean, yeah. kids... Uh, a lot of times don't even know what the hell they're talking about. You know, they just laugh because everybody's laughing or Shrek fell down or whatever. But, you know. <laughs> Shrek fall down, go boom. Yay! <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. You know, it's 
Yeah. That's it's just it's what it is, you know. It's a cartoon you should, movie. You should go take the kids to go see Hostel Part Two. That was that would that's be a great. That's great. That would be great for the kids. <laughs> it was actually okay. It wasn't that great. It wasn't as really? good as the first one. Everyone says that it wasn't good as the first one. The first one was yeah. terrible. The first one was terrible. You didn't like the first one? Uh, 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 just, oh, okay. I, I'll admit, being a movie buff kind of person, these cheesy horror movies, I can't believe this guy Eli Roth is actually making a name for himself by making bad, cheesy horror films. Yeah. The whole eye gouge thing. It's just, that, was, uh, that was beautiful. That was the that was the that's the scene that makes you squirm in the first uh, one. It's in like, the latest one, they chop off a guy's uh, uh, balls and his uh, penis. <laughs> so uh, that, that's the part that makes you squirm in this one. And they show it. It's like, oh. They show it. Wow. Yeah. And he, they feed it to a dog. To uh, me, it's just bottom of the one. barrel. It's good stuff. Yes. Just mindless <laughs> drivel. It's it's weak. I, I don't. Uh, <laughs> I don't like any of that kind of stuff. They're, those horror movies, they make them cheap because they know they're going to get all their money back and then some off DVD sales. It's Everyone's uh, entitled to their opinion. I don't okay. like romantic comedies too and much. I want to deal with one or another. Well, you know? Some people's opinion can be wrong. Oh, like, like yours? Yeah. No. <laughs> 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 no, but um, yeah, Hostel is okay. I just saw that. I want to see Knocked Up. I want to see all the movies that I come out. I definitely want to see Knocked It's about time they bring back the rated R comedy, man. For too long, yeah. been... Just watered down with his PG thirteen. Let's mm-hmm. get as many you know seats in the theater instead of just making something real and fun. And after forty year old virgin, you know no, that's these awesome. same guys making knock up. I, heard I just it. watched it last night. Yeah, the, Judd uh, Apatow. Yeah. The forty year old virgin just watched it last night. And my ex wife just saw the new movie Knocked Up last night. She said it was nonstop, nonstop laughter, out loud laughter. Right. You know. You can't you can't give all the credit to Judd Apatow. You have to go back before that. Maybe even st- say the frat pack brought it all back. You know. Uh, Will Ferrell, uh, Vince Vaughn, because old school is rated R, and you don't think old school was hilarious? Old school was okay. I've seen it a bunch of times, but I yeah. really think that um, that was rated R. So that this, this new group kind of yeah. bringing it. Well, Judd Apatow, he's been around. He did TV, so right? I mean, but Forty Year Old Virgin, of course, was hilarious. And I, I it, think it started with Forty Year Old Virgin because to me, even Wedding Crashers. I mean, the first half hour was great, was great yeah. but it, it really just boiled down to a romantic comedy. If you really look at the rest of the movie, it did. There was not a lot of, you know, the first part, I thought that was going to be the whole movie yeah. where, it was, you know, he finds a love interest and she's taken by some asshole. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, yeah. you know, you could write the script yeah. a million times like that. Yeah. A four-year-old version was the first one. I mean, you knew he was going to get the girl at the end, but just the, the process through it was so different, you know. Yeah, he didn't get it until the very, very end, you know, basically. No, I will not take your big box of porn. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff like that. Don't forget your big box of porn. Right. That's the genius of the movies. They appeal to everyone. I mean, the romantic comedy. <laughs> no, I, I know you're gay. Romantic comedy, too. <laughs> so. no, I know you're gay. <laughs> you just told me you're not having sex with women anymore. <laughs> That's like, a great scene. What was he saying when he said he felt the breasts? He's like, they felt like sand. Sand, not like sand. sand. <laughs> you know how they like feel sand? like sand. <laughs> sand. <laughs> what? Yeah. Are you a virgin? <laughs> <laughs> You know, they feel like sand. <laughs> that's funny. That's good stuff. That's a bad implant. Yeah, that's a real bad implant. <laughs> Homemade oh, well. stuff. Yeah. Are those Hindu guys? Oh, man. <laughs> I just couldn't. I like, oh, yeah, the I like the little, you know, the thing I love about some movies when they just interject this little bit players and bit parts, but they mm-hmm. you know, just stand out to me yeah. <laughs> because they usually have the best lines. Yeah. Like he's asking me, he's like, when your child is born, is he already on parole? <laughs> yeah. Oh, great. man. I don't that remember that great. part. It's 40-Year-Old Virgin? I don't remember yeah, that part. Yeah, 40-Year-Old Virgin. I need to watch it again. Yeah. If this was actually the real Carl Sainz experience, except for the uh, watered-down CSB version, I'd have drops for all this stuff. So. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm like thinking, awesome. damn, I wish I had. Except for you're not so big a rock star. Hey, well. Yeah. Rockstar's always big, even if it's on local. At twenty two two. <laughs> at 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 twenty two two. Rockstar my ass. Hey, there's a lot of people on radio who can't talk, and they're they're making millions mm-hmm. of right. bucks. Hey, well, I don't believe that's talking. I believe that's Dick Shun. Okay, oh, okay. just like it says, it's Dick Shun. Yeah. Yeah. That's Bob Carter. Dick Shun. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Meaning all you will get dicked. Yes. Yeah. Liquid you. <laughs> oh, we got the thumbs uh, up by Lola. She finished her table. Thumbs show. up! Let's be as loud as we want! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, guys, I'll be right back. I'm going to go check my Final Cut Pro project if you just want to go on without me for a second. Uh, I think we'll, we'll just take a commercial break we'll here. We'll take a commercial and break. We'll continue on with the Carlson experience uh, in a few. What up, y'all? This is Tyrese, and we're doing it real big. You know, sipping Don P, sipping Pellegrino, listening to Send New Music. 